hello i am iron from support host welcome back to our youtube channel today i am going to discuss about how to install and configure shadow sox on ubuntu 20.04 now shadow sox is a fast tunnel proxy that helps you bypass firewalls and block certain websites and web protocols it is also a lightweight fast and flexible encrypted sox5 proxy in that sox5 is an internet protocol of sox that helps to route packets through a proxy between a client and a server additionally shadow sox is an open source free encryption protocol client now we use shadow sox lib ev package on ubuntu server for setting the shadow sox server shadow sox lib ev is written in pure c and depends on libev it's designed to be a lightweight implementation of shadow sox protocol in order to keep the resource usage as low as possible on embedded devices and low end boxes before we get started make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos all right let's get started The first section is install the shadow sox server. In this section we install shadow sox libpv from github source code. Please note that all commands we have to be run as root. Example using sudo or su. To start off first log into the openvpn ubuntu server through ssh terminal. Here from the screen you guys can see I already logged into the openvpn server terminal. over ssh as root user now from the ssh terminal issue the command sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade minus yuf this command will download and update the packages to the newest version of on ubuntu so let's issue this command in the terminal normally it will take some time to complete the update process so let's wait until it get completed now from the screen we can see the package update got completed so now install the dependencies on the ubuntu server by running the command sudo apt get install space minus minus no iphone install iphone recommends and give the packages like build essential autoconf lib tool lib ssl iphone dev ga wk package dub helper dh iphone system package init iphone system iphone helpers package package iphone config ascii doc xml to apg lib prc3 iphone dev set lib 1g iphone dev libbv iphone dev lib udns iphone dev lib sodium iphone dev lib mb edtls iphone dev lib c iphone ares iphone dev then automake packages so let's issue this command in the terminal confirm the install by typing y and wait until the command execution got completed we can get dependencies package list from the official website of shadow sox itself after that download the shadow sox git module by executing the command sudo space git space clone space then define the github link as https colon double slash github dot com slash shadow sox slash shadow sox iphone libbv dot git So let's issue this command in the terminal and wait until it got completed. After that go to the folder shadow sox iphone libbv by issuing the command cd space shadow sox iphone libbv. So let's issue this command in the terminal. Now update the git sub modules in our workspace by issuing the command git space sub module space update space minus minus init. 
so let's issue this command in the terminal and wait until it got completed now let's install shadowsocks hyphen libbv by executing the commands dot slash autogen dot sh and dot slash configure afterwards make and make install commands these commands can be combined by using logical and operator that you can see in from the screen itself so let's issue this command in our server terminal and wait until it got completed and this concludes the install of shadowsocks packages in the ubuntu server now let's move to the next section the next section is configure the shadowsocks server in this section we discuss how to use shadowsocks libbv after its installation for that create a system user and add that system user to shadowsocks later create a directory with shadowsocks configuration file so go back to our ssh terminal and issue the command add user space minus minus system space minus minus no iphone create iphone home space minus minus group space shadowsocks this command will create a user named shadowsocks with without home directory so let's issue this command in the terminal after that create a new directory for the shadowsocks configuration file for that issue the command mkdir space minus m space 755 space slash etc slash shadowsocks so let's issue this command in the terminal now create the shadowsocks configuration file slash etc slash shadowsocks slash shadowsocks dot json using vim editor and paste the content shown in the screen so first issue the command sudo vim dot sign e slash etc slash shadowsocks slash shadowsocks dot json in the terminal after that in the insert mode paste the content that shown in the screen in that the property server defines the public ip of our shadowsocks server so replace it with your own server ip the property server port defines the port number of shadowsocks server users the default port number is 8388 and you can change whatever port number you wish to use the property password defines the password need to be used for shadowsocks client for connection you can also use any password you wish to use the property timeout defines the connection timeout between client and server the property method defines the encryption method used between shadowsocks server and client the property fast i fast underscore open value true defines to reduce latency when turned on shadowsocks so let's save the content in the file and exit now we can op- optimize kernel configuration for shadowsocks server by adding the content that shown in the screen over to the file named slash etc slash sysctl dot conf so for that first open the file using the command vim dot tiny slash etc slash sysctl dot conf and i am issuing this command in the sss terminal after that i added the content that shown in the screen these parameters can be get from the official website of shadowsocks in our case i added the entry towards the end of the file the principle of using this tuning parameters for shadowsocks server are reuse ports and connection as soon as possible and enlarge the queues and buffers as large as possible also choose the tcp conjunction algorithm for large latency and high throughput so let's save the content and exit after that execute the command sysctl minus p to reload the config at run time and i am issuing this command in the sss terminal now let's create a shadowsocks systemd service to automatically start the shadowsocks service on system boot and run it 
in the background for that first create the file slash etc slash systemd slash system slash shadowsox dot service for that issue the command vim dot tiny space slash etc slash system systemd slash system slash shadowsox dot service in the sss terminal and i am issuing this command in the terminal after that in the insert board add the content that shown in the screen save the content and exit here basically we are adding the binary path of shadowsox server and the config file location that we used for shadowsox server for starting it on boot you can also start the shadowsox service by manually issuing the command user local bin ss iphone server space minus c space slash etc slash shadowsox slash shadowsox dot json minus a as user shadowsox minus v start so let's save the con content and exit later enable and shadow start shadowsox service by issuing the commands sysctl daemon iphone reload along with systemctl enable shadow socks then system ctl start shadow socks so let's issue this command in the terminal once the service got started allow the port 8388 in the server firewall usually on ubuntu we use ufw firewall and the command will be ufw allow space proto space tcp space to 0.0.0.0/0 then space port space 8388 space comment in double quotes shadow socks so let's issue this command in the ssh terminal and this completes the configuration of shadow socks server now let's move to the next section the third section is install shadow socks client and connect In this section we install Shadowsox client on a user's device. In our case the user device is also a Ubuntu 20 LTS desktop version. So in our client terminal issue the command apt-get install shadowsox-libbv for Shadowsox client. So let's issue this command in the terminal. Confirm the package install by typing y and wait until it got installed. The Shadowsox iphone libbv package contains both the server software and client software files the shadowsox libbv server service will automatically start after the package got installed but we need to stop shadowsox server on our ubuntu desktop for that issue the command sudo space systemctl space stop space shadowsox iphone libbv and sudo space systemctl space disable space shadowsox iphone libbv so let's issue those two commands in the terminal now we need to create the client side configuration file for that create a file named slash etc slash shadowsox iphone libbv slash local iphone config dot json for that issue the command sudo vim dot tiny slash etc slash shadowsox iphone libbv slash local iphone config dot json in the terminal after that add the content that shown in the screen save and close the file then we can start the client by issuing the command sudo systemctl start shadowsox iphone libbv iphone local at local iphone config dot service so let's issue this command in the terminal after that enable auto start at boot time by issuing the command sudo systemctl enable shadowsox iphone libbv iphone local at local iphone config dot service so let's issue this command in the terminal later we can also check start status of the service and make sure it's running by issuing the command sudo systemctl status shadowsox iphone libbv iphone local at local iphone config dot service so let's issue this command in the terminal and make sure the service is in running state 
now the ss hyphen local process which is the binary package of shadow socks libbv listens on 127.0.0.1 colon 1080 on our ubuntu desktop and is connected to our shadow socks server which means the local proxy create a connection to our shadow socks server and allow data to pass through them to actually have application data to use this proxy we need to configure our web browser or operating system to use the local proxy so let's see how this can be done on our firefox web browser so in firefox go to firefox menu and from there click settings then scroll down to the bottom and click settings in network proxy in the connection settings window select manual proxy configuration then select sox version 5 because sox 5 shadow sox is a sox 5 proxy enter 127.0.0.1 in the sox host field and 1080 in the port field make sure proxy dns when using sox 5 is enabled click ok to apply those modifications after that verify the shadow socks connection is active by visiting an ip address lookup website like if config.co in firefox tab itself when the connection is work working as expected the website lists shadow socks server public ip and okay this concludes how to install shadow socks on ubuntu 20.04 lts version i hope this video is informative thanks for watching give us a thumbs up if you like the video and also leave your thoughts at the comment box see you soon on next video